Good morning Space Cats. It's me Jules with my favourite supplies. De La Rone Aquafine Smooth Watercolour Paper and Tombow Fudanasuki Soft Tip Brush Pen. I've got the doors flung open to my studio so you can probably hear lots of birds twittering and singing. And then over here at my light box, I'm just going to trace through this, which is a maple leaf. And today is the last Monday in January, that's when I'm filming it, to go out in a couple of weeks' time. But it's been a little bit of a stressful time lately, with work, health, family, so today I am doing just a doodle, a, do a zen tangle doodle. I have done one of these before and it worked out really nicely so I thought I'd do it again. And you can follow along too, either by drawing the shape of your favourite leaf, it doesn't have to be a maple, it could be an oak or horse chestnut or a piece of holly anything you like the first step is to draw your shape and the easiest way really to do it is to go and find a leaf that you really like the look of preferably a dried one and then just trace round it and once you have that that outside shape like this and then you can start drawing in the veins and my one this maple leaf has got a it's got a vein that runs right from the top to the stem there and then it has another one coming in from that tip that's out in the east of the leaf, another one from the west of the leaf. I don't think that's really a technical term, I just made it up. And let's do these ones as well. And then I'm just going to draw some more sections because in each of these sections it's going to be a different pattern. And you build up the pattern as you go along. Try and mirror, but it doesn't have to be an exact mirror image. just as so long as you've got some sections to fill in, that's all you're after really. So being the end of January, it's pretty cold. It's much warmer than it has been the last couple of weeks, but it's still only about maybe eight degrees centigrade. So I'm going to take this into the house now. Now I've finished my outlines and my sections. I'm going to take that into the house and start making it into something really beautiful. There's our outline. Now all I have done is gone onto Google and looked at Zen tangles. I think I called them pentangles before, which is a thing to do with witchcraft. <laughs> It's not that, it's Zen tangles you need to be looking up. And you'll see there are loads and loads and loads of different patterns. And 
if you want to just do your own thing then that's absolutely fine but if you just need a little bit of guidance or a bit of inspiration then have a search and see what you can find. First thing I'm going to do is choose from my Derwent Inktense pencils a colour that speaks to me today. Mm, I think I'm going to go with golden yellow and baked earth. This one is baked earth. And golden yellow. I'm going to work from, um, I think I'll do the yellow on the edge of the leaves. You don't have to, you can just have them black and white if you want to, it's quite normal. But I want to have some colour in mine. And this is the sort of thing you might do for mindfulness, if that's something you really like doing. Or it's something that you might do if you're finding life a bit difficult and you just need a bit of distraction. If you suffer from anxiety or from depression, then this is a great tool to have in your mental health toolbox. Just doing something a little bit arty a little bit creative it's going to help you have a better day these pencils are water soluble so you can if you want to and you've drawn your outlines in waterproof ink you can go in with a paintbrush a wet paintbrush and just smooth it all out a little bit could also use something like um, Crayola Super Tips pens, marker pens that you can pick up in the supermarkets really easily and cheaply. Or if you've got brush pens already, use one of those. That will get the job done a lot quicker. But this is a slightly meditative mindfulness practice so maybe speed is not what you're after perhaps what you're after is to slow your thoughts down slow your brain down soothe your worries it's one of those things when you think you haven't got time to do any self-care and look after yourself a bit. Maybe you have got time to do something like this. Just turn in the page as I go, going towards the middle, building up the layers a little bit. And this is just something for me so it doesn't have to be the same standard that I might apply if I was doing a job for someone else, a bit of art for somebody else or a com 
commissioned work, something like that. You might notice that the pencil is beginning to get a little bit blunt, but I turn it every few seconds. I'm, you might see I'm turning it, and that helps to keep that sharp end a little bit longer. It's just a little artist tip there. Every time I move away, I turn it. And it's something, actually, that I didn't know I did that until I started videoing my art processes. It's just something that I do automatically without even thinking about it. And then one day I was watching a video of another artist and she was saying apparently it's a thing. It's something that you need to do if you want to keep your pencils nice and sharp. Through 2021, I did a lot of live streams, one, one a, a month, and it reminds me a bit of that. So if you go back and have a look on my channel, you'll see all the, the live streams. And this reminds me a little bit of doing live stream art. Because it's... I just sort of stop thinking about anything other than what's in front of me on the page. Apart from when I was live streaming, I also had to make sure that it was actually running properly and if there were people asking questions, I could answer them. There was a little bit more to it than that. As you're drawing, if you turn your page like I'm doing, it just makes it a lot easier and makes the energy of the pencil go in the correct direction. So we're nearly at the middle, I'm going to put some of that baked earth in the centre bit. Really I should have been doing this in October or November because it's a bit of a, a bit of an autumnal leaf this one. I'm not quite into spring yet but it won't be long. Maybe I shall do a spring one. So you'll probably appreciate, if you've stuck with me this far, I haven't actually done any of my zentangling yet. Zentangle is the making the patterns. The lovely thing about these pencils is when you add water to them, when you add water to them, um, the colour becomes so much more saturated. It's a bit like that magic painting, if you ever had one of those when you were a child, where you painted and it painted water onto a page and it had colour on it, paint on it, that, or a pigment that went from grey to colour. Reminds me a bit of that.
if you really don't have very much time at all you can skip this colouring in bit and just go straight to doing your patterns, your repeated patterns and you don't have to do the whole thing in one go if you really are short of time then just do one section at a time but keep it going do some more the next time you have a bit of time you'll be amazed how quickly it builds up I have my fine liners there's a zero six zero three what else have I got zero one let's see if I've got a five yeah five there that's probably all I'll use Use my 0 0.3 to start. I'm going to start in this corner here. Just repeating that pattern quite slowly, taking my time over it, really just considering the space. Anxiety is something I think many of us suffer from, or stress in one way or another, especially when there's a lot of things happening in your life, and you have a lot of things to try and accomplish, navigate. So tell me if you have a way that you like to use for coping, then do let us know in the comments because you might be helping somebody else to find a strategy that helps them. Yeah, that's that first one filled. And now in this second area I'm going to do something completely different. I'm just going to start a little wiggly wave. And I think for every other one, I'm going to use 0 0.1. I'm just going to draw some lines perpendicular.
I'm going to pick up a 0 0.5 now and I'm just going to do hmm, what shall I do? I think I'm just going to do some some circles thing you can do is use your thicker pen to outline an area just to make it stand out a little more just going to do some squirrely ones in here like a snail shell Then I'm going to colour in between them. I think you definitely do use a different part of your brain when you're doing an activity like this. It doesn't have to be drawing or painting. You might be, you might like working with clay or wood or baking. Could be writing, could be journaling. It's just really anything what I would term creative and that literally means making anything. Now for this one, I think I'm going to do, let's turn the page so it's facing the right way, I think I'm going to do some arches. For some reason this really reminds me of watching an Agatha Christie series or film or something because it's a bit 1930s this pattern.
I'm thinking that actually quite a nice pen to use for doing something like this would be a biro or a ballpoint of some description because this unfortunately these fine liners when they are no longer new they lose their fine nib and this one is definitely only towards the end of its life right I'm going to get my 0 0.1 I'm going to go and do some really thin lines just scattered just gives it a bit of depth actually Well, you can see how that's beginning to build up. Quite a nice way. So I'm going to carry on doing this. And you start yours and see what you can come up with. <laughs> 